Good evening, YouTube. I'm your great Canadian nerd, and on today's Blu-ray Collection Spotlight, I'm going to switch out of sci-fi here for a moment. I'm going to drop into the realm of fantasy and magic. Now, what's this? let's just get right down to it. Fantasy, magic, and a big old Blu-ray collection. I'm talking about Harry Potter. This is the Harry Potter Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Blu-ray Edition. Looks beautiful. This is just book one. Now, look at how thick this is. In this you get, when you open it up, it's held, held closed by a hidden magnet, so it's pretty nice and seamless. Get some beautiful artwork on the inside. Really nice artwork. And if we open it up, we see that we have, well, first of all, our discs. Our discs are stored in beautiful jewel, jewel plastic trays with artwork laid in behind them. You get a special features disc. You get the disc one of your movies. Now, some of these also have the extended editions. Only the first and second one that I'm aware. Uh, yeah, only the first and second have extended editions. No one else came out with an extended edition, so they didn't put it on there. And you get a third disc, which is a DVD, not a Blu-ray, full of special features. What else do you get here? You get this little collector's envelope. Inside this envelope, Aside from your download code and your digital copy disc, you get beautiful, see if we can see how thick, how thick these are, beautiful hard card photographs. This movie year one comes with Harry and McGonagall. Almost like they were the wizarding cards, but not. And it doesn't in there. What comes in this collection? Oh no, it, they said ultimate. They're not going to stop at just giving you a little bit of card there at extra. How about a color picture book? Each one focused on a certain part of the world. Year one focuses on creating the world of Harry Potter sets from all over the years. Like, here you go. Slytherin common room, Gryffindor common room. Good. Hard cover. Your children are going to have a slightly more difficult time damaging this than if they were look, flipping through a paperback copy. It's going to stand up. It's going to stand the test of time. And it all stores very nice and neatly into the box. Now, that was year one. There's year two, year three, year four, year five, year six. And for the longest time, I thought it ended at year six. I was not able, I was getting so mad, so mad, because for the longest time I could not find year seven on Ultimate Blu-ray Edition. It's because they didn't make it until about six or eight months ago. I've only found out about it last week. I'm super excited. These were originally, this set was originally going to be on the worst of my Blu-ray collection for the sole purpose of I did not have Year 7. That they stopped the production of these without giving us a Year 7. They've completed it. They came through. We now have a pure ultimate collection that covers all seven movies. All eight movies. Year 7 just happens to have both part 1 and part 2 in it. I am happy. I pulled this off the worst of list and put fanboys on instead. This... This redeemed itself in my eyes. Now, here's, the, here's your character cards for year 2. Good old Rubius and Severus. I actually haven't looked at all these since I bought them. I just pulled the discs out, 
got my downloadable code, and went from there. Now what you also get with each one of these is you get documentaries. Each year has a different documentary. This year's documentary was creating the characters of Harry Potter. See what year three has in store for us. Now, I've heard a lot of people, you know, talking about, well, which Harry Potter collection do I get? Do I get the collection where it's just the eight discs on Blu-ray? Do I get the collection where it comes in the fancy trunk, otherwise known as the Wizard's Collection? Do I go after and hunt down the Ultimates? Do I just buy them all individually? Well, it comes down to personal choice. You can really do what you want to do. Um, however, if you're looking for a collector's piece, something that you don't care if it fits on a shelf, you want it to stand out, you want it to sit out proud on a display case, pick up the Wizarding's collection, because that's, that's the fancy fold-out trunk. Um, but I have a bit of an issue in that with that, and that's that it's more expensive than going out and hunting down all of these Ultimate Editions. These Ultimate Editions fit really nicely on a shelf. They're only slightly taller than other Blu-rays. They're actually the same size as most Blu-ray box sets that you pick up for trilogies. So they, they're the same size as the Lord of the Rings box. They fit perfectly on the shelf. They can line them up, no problem. They don't stick out like a sore thumb. So, here we go. Year three. Doc, year three documentary is creating the creatures. I'll get you out the character cards here so you can see them. Oh, we've got Miss Granger and Sirius Black. And they're going back in the folding on the folded envelope because I highly doubt I'm going to pull them out again for a while. And these ones don't want to go back into their box. Lovely. So you get them all. They're all stored in. Looking at my notes here, people. Sorry. They're all stored in their plastic trays. All the discs are firmly held in. I bought year one and year two physically in store. Year four through six was delivered to me online. I ordered through Amazon. Uh, here we go, year four, creating this sound and music. Let's face it, how many people don't get the Harry Potter music stuck in their heads? Because it's really easy. Ronald and Mad Eye. Those are your year four cards. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you the Year 7 cards because I don't actually own Year 7 yet. Year 7 is currently in the Postal Service limbo. It will arrive to me when it arrives to me. Uh, not much I can do about it at this point. I've paid for it. I've got a tracking number. It's on its way. I just have to wait for it to show up. And thanks to lovely old Labor Day, it had to go and throw a lot of the uh, mailing plans out the window. Oof, good, my favorite character. Not Umbridge, but Luna. Luna's awesome in the books. She was perfectly cast in the movie. I just like Luna. Uh, year six is creating the world of Harry Potter, the evolution of the world. Sign kind of sounds slightly redundant when you're talking about it, but what can we do? We're not the ones who make the packaging. We are just the people who the collections are made for. Year six, we have the magical effects. And who do we have on our cards? Oh, yes. Mr. Malfoy. And we have Mr. Dumbledore, the second Dumbledore, but Dumbledore. It's really unfortunate that uh, Richard Harris was not able to complete the series. Uh, he will be missed. He made a fantastic Dumbledore. Now, I'll give you a little bit of insight about uh, 
how I, just how I became exposed to the Harry Potter series. Now, at the time that Harry Potter 1 was scheduled to come into theaters, I was working for a movie theater in my hometown. And it was a Thursday night, we're trying to get the theater ready for the Friday weekend. My boss is running around like a chicken with her head cut off because she is freaked that we are not ready. We are not going to be able to hold the capacity in our small theater. We only had, if we sold the full capacity, we just broke a thousand. Okay? Four screens and we just broke a thousand. We're a small theater. We, she was afraid that we weren't going to be able to deal with the horde of people coming in. Now I'm I've changed all the signs up outside on the theater, I've changed the showtime walls, I've changed the posters up, and she's telling me this as I'm up on the ladder putting the Harry Potter poster up, and I looked at it down at her and I'm like, what's the big deal? I honestly said this, what is the big deal? It's just a movie. What is this Harry Potter stuff anyways? She stared at me like I just told her orange juice comes from bananas. And thank you, thank you so much, Tara, because I loved that staff show that night. That was fantastic. We would run a staff show. And we would run these staff shows for any staff members who were working that night who wanted to stick around, watch the movie, because we had to cut the movie, like splice the physical film together, and you watch it, to make sure that you didn't screw up putting it together. You don't want to have a bad splice. You don't want to have anything that could damage the film. Because these films are expensive and it's not worth damaging them. A quick little run. Play it once before opening night. Guarantees you're not going to have any problems. Do it. It's wise. So there I am. I didn't want to go home at the time. I got offered to watch a movie for free. And I was told it was about magic, it was about wizards, it was about a school of wizards. Well, I'm a nerd. I love fantasy, I love magic. It sounded right up my alley. I'm like, okay, well, it's supposed to be a kid's movie, but whatever. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to give it a shot. So I sat down in the back of the theater, and the movie played. And when the door opened to Diagon Alley... I think that's the point when my jaw dropped and I don't think it closed again until the end of the movie. I was I was blown away. My first experience with Harry Potter was watching the Philosopher's Stone. I went to high school the next day. As soon as class was done, grabbed a bus, went came down into the city went to chapters and I bought the first four books and had to read them had to get caught up because I needed to know what Harry Potter was all about now I saw the movie I was hooked I had to know it so if I didn't see that movie maybe I wouldn't have had the love I have for Harry Potter but it was fantastic. I enjoyed it. We actually did a couple of gimmicky things at our theater for it, for kid, for all the kids waiting in line. You showed up an hour early to wait in line to make sure they're going to get a good spot in the theater to watch the movie. We had a professor from the local high school come in, a drama teacher, and we propped him up on a ladder so he could project his voice down to the kids standing there in the hall, and he proceeded to read Harry Potter to the kids standing in line while we were waiting for the movie to clear. The movie became clear, we movie came out, we rushed in, we cleaned up the theater, second group can go in, and not a single screaming kid. They were all perfectly happy. And if you can get away on a blockbuster night with a bunch of kids and not have a, not have a kid being upset while they're waiting in line to watch their movie, give yourself some applause. You've done a good job. That was my little tangent story there about the Harry Potter collection. Can I, or my first experience with Harry Potter, sorry. 
back to the Harry Potter collection, the Ultimate Editions on Blu-ray, can I recommend them? Yeah, I can recommend them. I recommend them to any fan of the series who has a Blu-ray player. Because the Ultimate Editions only come with Blu-ray and digital copy. If you want Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy, then you're going to have to go for the Wizards Collection if you want to get it all in once. But for me, for my tastes, you know, I've got most of them on DVD already. I was starting my Blu-ray collection, so I'm going to pick them up in the best format I could possibly get them in. And when I saw these Ultimate Editions, I just knew, boom, collector's item. I'm going to love these. I've got to pick these up. And these have never been loaned out. I these will not go out of my head, out of my sight. Uh, just for the simple fact of those books, the cards on the inside, they're the collectible value. Uh, they're the the disc is the disc. I don't want those special little add-ons and treatments getting damaged, so they stay with me. Uh, if someone wants to borrow the movie, great. They can borrow the movie, but they don't get the box. Those are, these are one of the few Blu-rays that I will loan out in a separate zipped up binder and go, here, you can have them in this, they're in this little CD case wallet you're not getting the box because the box I'm keeping in pristine condition I can replace a disc replacing one of these boxes is going to be slightly more expensive and I don't want to do it so if you're a fan of the Harry Potter world if you're a fan of fantasy films, if you're a fan of kids' movies in general, or you have kids who are into the Harry Potter set, this is the collection that I would personally recommend that you get. I'm your great Canadian nerd. Take care. Have yourself a good night.